The conversation on genetic modification and gene editing has changed. The technology's changed. But what exactly are these technologies? Every living thing has DNA, which is made up of long molecules of genetic material. This DNA carries instructions on how to build that living thing, like a manual which tells the cells how to behave. DNA contains thousands of genes, which provide instructions on how to build all the different parts of an organism, such as blood cells, muscles or wool. Sometimes DNA can change, creating new and different versions of a gene. This is called a gene mutation. These mutations mean that different individuals can carry different versions of the same gene. For example, some sheep have fine wool, others have coarse wool. In agriculture, genetic variations have been used for centuries to select better versions of plants and animals. Around 8,000 years ago, farmers began selectively breeding sheep for more desirable traits, such as growing more wool. Efforts to breed a flock with lighter coloured fleeces began around 5,000 years ago in what's now known as Iraq. As a result, over time, sheep have come to look and act like the livestock we know them as today. In recent years, new gene editing technology has emerged making it possible to more quickly and easily insert, delete or replace individual genes in precise locations within DNA or to switch genes off altogether. AgResearch, along with our partners, is using genetic modification when new genetic material is introduced and gene editing to make our pastures better for the environment, better for our farmers and better for our grazing animals. We have three programs of work using these genetic technologies on pasture plants. Our high metabolizable energy, or HME, ryegrass is genetically modified to increase the fat content so that it's more nutritious for our livestock whilst also reducing their greenhouse gas emissions. At the same time, we're modifying white clover to boost the amount of tannins in the leaf. This reduces livestock emissions while being healthier for the animal. Endophytes are microorganisms, in this case fungi, that live inside ryegrass and can offer protection from pests and diseases. Sometimes, certain strains of endophytes can also cause harm to the animal to eat the plant, so our scientists are using gene editing to eliminate the toxic compounds from the endophyte while still providing protection for the plant. All of this research is helping us tackle the many challenges facing our farmers. While this technology is more precise than earlier techniques, there are still risks we have to manage and we need to prove that we can do this in a safe and sustainable way. With decades of research into genetic technologies behind us, AgResearch is ready. Learn more at agresearch.co.nz